Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome to today's Unmets video. So I'll post Unmets video every single Tuesday. So if you want to see that, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel already so that you do not miss a single video that I put out. And also I have an entire playlist dedicated to this Unmets Made Easy series that I'm doing. So make sure that you go check that playlist out if you're interested in learning ad maths from me. So today's video is actually not going to be on a question. In today's video, we are just going to be doing types of root. Okay. My God, I apologize my, for my handwriting. We're going to do that again. Type of roots. And today's video is not a question because these are just the things that I want you to remember because it will be super useful in all the future questions. So before we actually go into the questions regarding types of roots, I want you to remember a few things first. So next week we'll put this into practice but this week you'll simply have to learn about the types of roots. So when we talk about the types of roots, an equation or an expression that we need to know is b squared minus 4ac. This is the expression that you would have to remember for the type of roots. Alright, so from here we are going to do sort of a root diagram. And we have different kinds of roots. We only have three types of roots actually. And the first one would be two real and different roots. The second type would be two real and equal roots. And the third type would be no roots at all. And how would you know this is by referring to this expression. So for real and different roots, b squared minus 4ac would be more than 0. If the roots are real and equal, then b squared minus 4ac would be equal to 0. Equal, the equal sign is here. And then if it has no roots, then b squared minus 4ac will be smaller than 0. I hope you take note of these three um, expressions. So, the key about two real and different roots is that it has two distinct roots. And from a previous video, I have mentioned that roots equals to x, which is something that you want to remember as well. But so you have um, two different roots and it intersects the graph at more than one point. If you have to draw a graph or if they give you a graph and you have to interpret it, then remember that when there are two real and different roots, the graph will intersect the x or y axis at two different points. So an example would be this and this would be a graph. So it intersects at two different points. Therefore, it is real and different roots. So now we'll move on to the next one, which is two real and equal roots. For equal roots, it intersects the curve at only one point, And it is tangent to the curve. So example would be this. Intersects at only one point here. Or the graph could be this way. It intersects at only one point, And this is also called a tangent line. So this is another key word that you might want to take note of. When it's a tangent line and it intersects once, it would be called as two real and equal roots. The last thing that we want to remember here is no roots. B squared minus 4ac will be smaller than 0. And for these, the graph does not intersect the x-axis at all. So this will be your x-axis. And your graph might be here or here. The key is that it does not touch the x-axis at all. So this would be no roots. So this is the information that I want you to remember for today. And next week, we'll actually put it into practice with some sample questions. So, so I hope that you learned something from today's video. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday with another Nmats video.